All right, folks, this is Ishai Fleischer. When I'm not in Eretz Yisrael, I'm uh, gallivanting around the world, finding Jewish things to cover. So right behind me is Kosher Fest. We're at the Meadowlands, the Harmon Meadow Exposition Expo Center. And we're going to go in there, and we're going to get a taste of every single delicious morsel you could think of that is kosher. Not just for Jews, but for non-Jews around the world. This is the center, the Mecca, the Jerusalem of kosher. And I'm going in. Follow me. They're amazing, and I already see that Malka's enjoying it, and Ezra's certainly enjoying it. Yes! Okay, let's try it. What is this green fluid? Right. The Manishan is not I would like some more of this, I'll tell you the truth. Yes. I really like it. So. <laughs> Malka, you have jello on your head. It can either come from a pig, but our jello can come from a cow. Amen. Alright, we're here at Kosher Fest, Ishai Fleischer, Malka Fleischer, that's my wife, and we're going to have a great food day, it's going to be all kosher. What countries are represented here, Malka? I saw Israel and Argentina and of course the United States, but who knows? Who knows? Stay tuned, stay hungry. Okay, I'm here with Rabbi Saul Emanuel from the AK MK Kosher Certification of Montreal. So this is kosher for Canada. Kosher for Canada. Absolutely. Kosher for Canada. Absolutely. Across Canada, we certify about 650, 700 companies that uh, produce all types of kosher food products, prepared products, raw products, ingredients, raw materials, finished products, everything across the board. Now in the U.S., a lot of non-Jews also eat kosher. That is correct. Is that true also in Canada? 100%. In fact, we work very closely with different supermarket chains that encourage people and tell them about the kosher standards that we have and the extra inspections that we go through with food products that are produced without, without certification. So that has increased the range of kosher food products given amongst non-Jews. Have you been to the very north of Canada? Have you seen the tundra and the Inuit peoples? Unfortunately, no, but we do have a company in Inuit, a Coca-Cola company, which we certify, and which I have an inspector that goes there a few times a year. Yes. Why do they need certification? Because Coca-Cola received our certification, and since they're sending products of theirs all over Canada, we have to have a control on everything. So they have 10 plants across Canada, and one of them is right there by Yellowknife, which is Inuit. Right Wait, good. Ishai, I have a question that I feel like only a Canadian rabbi could answer. Rabbi. Why is it so hard to find kosher maple syrup? Oh, give out. Well, in our area of town, in Montreal, there is no shortage of maple syrup whatsoever. You can get as much as you want. We certify about four or five maple syrup companies that we check many maple syrup farms across Canada that produce maple syrup from the very raw product to the finished product. What kosher problems could they have then? Uh, the syrup? only challenging problem with maple syrup is an antifoam. In order to make the syrup pure, that it shouldn't foam up, etc., they put a stabilizing an antifoam agent that goes in. And that antifoam can sometimes be based on animal. So that's the only challenge. Some people believe it's not a kosher problem, but we ensure that the antifoam that is used with maple syrup is 100% kosher. But getting back to your good wife's question, is that maple syrup is available in abundance in Canada. It's now being exported to the United States. We would love you and appreciate if you bring it to the good old holy land of Israel and they bring our maple syrup there too with a good half shot. Amen. Rabbi Saul Emanuel from the MK Toronto and Montreal Kosher Certification. Thank you. Thank you. So, so this is Klein's Real Kosher. They also have an ice cream bar. Let's go there. Follow me. Come. Come. Hi, my friend. I'm ready for my mango snack, please. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I am a child, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a complete and utter child. I'm trying to make it all happen here. That's a, that's a big bite there, Ishai. How is it? Mango, frozen mango treat snack. Amazing without the hairs and the teeth. Wow, I love it. Klein's Real Kosher frozen section. There it is. It's been done real well here. This is a scallop. Do you know what a scallop is? No. A scallop is a non-kosher shellfish. But the secret is this is not really a scallop. This is a fake scallop. See, some of us come from a different lifestyle. We didn't always keep kosher, but we sure wish we could have those tastes of yesteryear. So here we have a company called Asian Star. 
which is satisfying the palates of the ballet chief, of the repentant. So I am going to enjoy this beautiful kosher scallop. <laughs> So forbidden. <laughs> okay, Malka. A lot of I'm about to have some Elyon marshmallows distributed by Golden Fluff. So I'm going to have a little Golden Fluff in my Elyon. Elyon, of course, means the highest. And you know, folks, this is a good opportunity for me to stop. Before I dip this marshmallow in this delicious chocolate fountain, I have to tell you, when we eat food, we do it for the sake of heaven. We get stronger, we remember what it's all about. So it's not about physicality, although these delicious Elyon marshmallows distributed by Golden Fluff are wonderful things. But the way we make it even more Elyon, even higher, is when we remember in our hearts, in our minds, in our hearts, and in our mouth, when we say the blessing, which I've already said blessings, that this is for the sake of heaven, to give us strength to do His will. And with that, I was told to not forget to take a napkin. Malka, there you go. <laughs> I'm doing this for you, God. I'm doing this for you. All right. I want you to look around here for a second, Malka. Look around. Look around all the stuff that's being done. And you know, I want to say something here, right here, right now, amongst all these people. We must not take it for granted. We must really take a second to say, wow, there is so much plenty in this world, so much what we call in Hebrew Shefa. Shefa is something we didn't have only 60 years ago. Only 60 years ago, we were being killed in the Holocaust. We were being starved to death in different places. And now we have all of this. So it would be remiss of us to forget how amazing this time is, how much gifts we have been just bestowed upon us. And if anything, this kosher fest is really about bracha fest. It's really about how many gifts the Lord has bestowed upon the Jewish people. And we can't take that for granted. So thank you very much, kosher fest, for helping us remember the blessings that have been bestowed upon us.